who this man is begging. You know like the type of kids, you open up some hot Cheetos and the kid come over like, oh I love hot chips. He's like, okay, <laughs> you ain't getting these hot chips. We crunk lit any bitch, yeah. What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, I'm Deja. It is the same day, the same night, just later on in the night because my camera had died, so I had to let it charge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have pre-recorded these videos because I'm doing like a week of story time. Um, I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So if you haven't seen the other story times before this one, make sure you go and watch it. I put all my story times in a playlist. Go look at that or whatever. This story time is about the time this man had me confused. <laughs> I'ma just tell y'all the whole little time I knew this man's. We gonna call this man Hawaiian. Now, the reason why I'm calling him Hawaiian is because you know girls got little nicknames that we say to our friends. So me and my best friend call this man Hawaiian. Leave his name what I call him, Hawaiian. Cause I honestly don't know this man's name and I really have never known his name. I've always called him Hawaiian because he's Hawaiian. This was like when Snapchat was like all time high, okay? And I was addicted. That was my favorite app ever snap me snap me snap me back then on snapchat you was able to put your little face instead of the bitmojis i don't know why they did that that'd be pissing me off because i don't know who this person is so you could be able to display your face on your little profile or whatever right so i'm over here chatting with my friends on snap i get a little notification and i go to this man's page and he look fine from his profile i'm like okay little islander i knew he was poly already because i'm poly so i can scope out the islanders so i'm like he poly i'm looking i'm like oh he white He's Hawaiian. I got a little excited. I'm Hawaiian. So I'm like, ah, Hawaiian babies. <laughs> I hit back on Snapchat, right? So that's how me and him started conversating over Snap. We're conversating over Snap, just getting to know each other. Did I ever ask this man what his name was? I really don't even remember. I don't think I've ever did because I don't know his name till this day. I never knew his name. Me and Hawaiian conversating on Snapchat back and forth throughout the days or whatever, sending snaps back and forth, chatting, chit chatting. And this man is the one who introduced me to videos with the sound on. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't never even asked for one of those, okay? So I'm scrolling on Snap one day, I get my little purple notification from Hawaii and I'm like, ooh, what he sent me today? Cause he fine, he is fine. And I think he was like a little older than me. He was a little older than me. Scroll on the video and it's just yeah, Like, oh, I didn't ask for this. And then he's just like, ah, It was crazy and I was like, ew. Because first of all, me personally, I don't like how they look. I mean, this is funny. I don't like receiving pictures that I don't ask for. Back then I wasn't asking for none. So like, I just felt like it was really rude of him to be sending me stuff that I didn't ask for. Like my eyes didn't want to see that, especially like in depth. And it was like there and it was like, bam, you know? And that was just the first video of many like that. It was unwanted and unasked for. Consent to that, negative. So Hawaiian introduced me to, like I said, videos with the sound on and when i tell y'all he was sending me videos with the sound on every morning this man was sending me videos with the sound on every morning and it wasn't like i was returning the favor or doing anything he was sending me the videos and i was just like oh cool <laughs> after a while it was normal so i was like emojis emojis girl i don't give a damn just want you to feel good about yourself sir because you fine <laughs> all that had happened now mind you I still have never met this man in person. So for him to feel that comfortable, it was a little scary. I've never met this man in person. The day comes around to us communicating one day on Snap. He ain't never even had my phone number. We still snap it. The day comes around, cause he was in college. So he telling me to come to his school, right? His school wasn't that far from where I lived. It actually it was, it was cool two hours. I ain't even gonna lie to you. His school was a cool two hours from where I lived, right? But back then, me and my best friend, whipping and dipping and scooping, just like, we ain't got nothing to do today. Let's go see Hawaiian, right? Cause I was telling her about him and I was like, he really cute. The only thing weird about him is he be sending me videos with the sound on. But like, he is really cute. He was fine. He was fine. The only reason why I remember this story, crazy. I was scrolling on Instagram not too long ago either. This was probably like two days ago. On my explore page, and this man come up. And I'm like, ain't no way that's a lion. Still look the exact same, which is kind of scary. Oh, he's still fine. But I'm like, ain't no way that's him, right? Then I go scrolling on his Instagram, whatever. And it's him. So let me finish telling y'all the story before I get deep into it. So, day comes around. He's like, oh, like, what are you doing today? Like, I want to hang out. Like, let's do this. Let's do that. And I'm like, you know what? Bet. Send me your location. I'm coming. <laughs> right? Like, for real? 
Yes, sir, you fine. Although you do be sending me videos with the sign on, you still fine. And you seem like a cool person. Like I could be in your facility and enjoy my time, you know? But like I said, me and my best friend ain't got nothing to do with you. We always ripping and running. We might as well rip and run to him, right? So I tell her, and she like, Hawaiian? I'm like, Hawaiian, bro. Hawaiian want me to go. And she like, let's go. So I'm like, bet. Now, mind you, I've never even heard this city that he told me, and I've been living in this area my whole life. I've never heard of it. Where is this, right? We had told my best friend's dad, like, we're going to so-and-so, and he even was like, why y'all driving all the way out there? And I'm like, well, how far is it, sir? So then I look on my maps, and it was a cool two hours. And I was like, two hours? That's not nothing, let's go, right? So me and my best friend ended up driving all the way to this man's college and we get out there and we meet him at um, this food place and he came with like him and I think it was like two of his friends. So we had um, ended up at the restaurant before them. They had pulled up like 20, 30 minutes after us, right? So me and my best friend just sitting in the parking lot chit-chatting and just scared because I ain't never met this man and I'm a little socially awkward. So I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Um, the nerves is jumping because when I tell y'all this man was far. Like, oh, let me just explain him to y'all. This man tatted up. He was an athlete. Then he was like, red you know how hawaiians be like red when you live in hawaii it was like he was fresh from the island this man was red tan tribals all over his body with the 12 pack okay and then he had some hair oh he was fine his mama and daddy did the damn thing with him but um damn he was fine he a little weird but he was fine i wonder what he's doing in life <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> just kidding him and his friends pulled up to the restaurant we all went inside we ate we chill we talking he's really really cool really cool the only thing that i didn't really like is we kind of like the same height don't really like that other than that though he was like really cool his friends was cool it was some little like stoner white boys he really didn't want me to leave so he's like y'all want to come chill with us and i'm like chill what you wear like this is my first day meeting you i don't really know you but like you fine so like where can I be? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm like, where? And he's like, oh, like, we can go smoke in the car. Because he was like a little stoner boy. And I was like, oh, I don't really smoke. But like, we'll chill and get contact. I was like, best friend, you down? She down. We go and get contact. So we in the parking lot still of the restaurant. We ain't never left from there. We're chilling in this car, smoking, talking, laughing, vibing. It was a vibe. So boom, that day concludes. Me and my best friend drive home. We just chatted in the car. I'm like, he really cool. She's like, yeah, he cool. So like from there on, that was the first day I met him. So from there up until this, when this story happened, it was a cool, I would say like a year. I'm not even lying. Was it a year? It was close to a year or a year. Only seen this man in person twice in my life, okay? So that was the first time I had seen him. We're still talking like every day on Snapchat and we would like send videos back and forth, pictures back and forth, but not like explicit sh on my end. He was still sending the videos with the sound on, but then he would also send videos of his everyday life. He was doing the sending, I wasn't asking for the sending, but he was sending to me every morning. It was, it was like my alarm clock. My alarm clock and just like, psh everywhere. I ended up going to this concert, not with my best friend, with one of my other little friends in the past. Getting ready, posting on Snap, da -da -da. I'm talking to him throughout the day. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to so-and-so. He like, what? Me too. I'm like, oh, you about to go see? La la la. What concert was it? I don't even remember. Damn, it was a long time ago. I'm like, oh, you going there? He like, yeah. Me and my friends are going to be there. And I'm like, oh, lit. Her mom kind of worked with like the company that was throwing the concert. So we had like front row floor seats, right? And he was like up in the sections or whatever. So I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna be down here on the floor. It's gonna be so late. He's like, oh my God, like, yeah, let's meet up after the concert. I'm like, okay, cool. Concert comes, we vibe and we lit, Snapchat, Snapchat. Then I see he start posting on Snapchat. And I'm like, oh, okay. But the angle from his snap was like somebody was videotaping him. Once it turned it on himself, but like you can tell he didn't know nobody else over here. It was just like him and the phone getting lit. Biden, right? But like I said, we've only seen each other one time in person the first day we met each other, right? The concert's over. We had ended up staying at a hotel near where the concert was taking place. Drove back over to the hotel. Um, we're chilling. Da -da -da. I get a snap. And guess who it is? It's Hawaiian. I'm like, baby, hi. I opened the snap and he's like, oh, where you at? And I'm like, oh, we got a room at the so-and-so. I'm not there anymore. He's like, oh, for real? That's because I got a room. Da -da 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 -da. 
his hotel wasn't too far from our hotel. And I'm like, damn, that's lit. He like, well, baby, where you at? I want to see you. I haven't seen you for so long. I'm going to come to you. I'm going to come to you. And I'm like, well, it's like four of us in this room. I mean, you can come, but like, you ain't coming up here because like my friends is like unwinding, makeup's coming off, wigs are coming off, hair extensions are on the floor, pajamas are coming on, like, <laughs> You ain't coming over here. And I was like, well, you can like, I drove so you can come sit in my car. We can vibe in a car. And he like, oh, okay, well just come to my um hotel then. I'm like, okay, cool. Like the concert didn't end until like two in the morning. Okay, we went back to the room, unwinding, eating, getting food, blah, blah, blah. Me and him are texting back and forth. I'm waiting for him to get to the room, which took him a cool two, three hours. I'm like, boy, I'm going to sleep. Like, where are you at? I'm trying to go to sleep. And then I get another notification and it's Hawaiian. Like, oh, this is where I'm at, but I come here. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm driving over to his hotel. It literally took me a cool five, seven minutes. Get there, I text him, oh, I'm here. He's like, okay, I'm gonna just come out. And I'm like, you could have just came to my place if we doing all the coming out and just chilling in the car. Like, you could have drove to me. I didn't have to drive over here, sir. This man comes out, get in the car. Fine, 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 right? But mind you, this is only like a second time I've ever seen this man. The first time I seen him, it wasn't no touching, no kissing, no none of that, right? I mean, we hugged, but that's it. This time, it's a little more, he trying to touch and feel, and I'm like, I don't know you like that and you be sending me videos with the sound on. I hope you don't think we about to get in this back seat because that's not happening, sir. I don't know you. And at that time in my life, no, none of that, none of that, none of that, none of that. We in the car, mind you, we're in the car. He keeps like checking his phone from time to time, checking his phone. I hear it vibrating. Checking his phone, da, da, da. I'm like, what is going on with you, sir? Now we like kissing and talking and all this other stuff, right? This man had on a bucket hat. You know, that's when bucket hats was a thing. He had on a bucket hat, but it was a white one. I would never forget. And back then, I used to think I was cute trying to do makeup. Didn't know what I was doing, but I was trying it, right? So I had like contour and some concealer and stuff on. And he had on a white bucket hat, y'all. I am brown. <laughs> makeup was all over this man's bucket hat, okay? And then he starts asking me if he could, uh, uh, lick the el right and I'm like no ew what why are you asking me to do that he wasn't asking me to do anything to him like he really just wanted to taste on me and I'm like I don't really feel comfortable with that because I don't know you and like at this point in my life only one person has ever done that to me and then what really got to me and this man was like really really comfortable he started doing like baby talk and you know like I baby talk with my little mans but like that's something I do in a relationship baby talk you shouldn't do that to everybody and you over here baby talking to me a grown-ass man that's not cute <laughs> He's over here baby talking, right? But he's like begging, like he's like begging me. And at that moment, I realized maybe this man is a sex addict. He definitely is, like he definitely is. But y'all, when I tell you this man is begging, you know like the type of kids, you open up some hot Cheetos and the kid come over like, oh, I love hot chips. He's like, okay, <laughs> you ain't getting these hot chips. That's how I was, you ain't getting this vagina. <laughs> but he was like, please, like I just wanna please you. Please, like I just wanna blah, 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 blah. Please, please, please. Talking in this baby what baby, please, baby, please, can I just please? I'm like, ew, not you, Hawaiian. Not my islander, no. <laughs> right, so I'm like getting annoyed because I keep telling this man no. And now I'm getting a little scared because I don't really know you like that. And you are a male and you are very much so stronger than me. Like I said, this little man built 12 pack. You're very much so stronger than me. So now I'm getting a little scared. I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting tired. I want to go to sleep. Like I think it's time to go. And he's like, but let me just, before you leave, I'm like Hawaiian. No, mind you, I still Still don't know this man's name, so I have never once said his name out loud because I don't know his name. So I was just like, no, like, not today. Like, maybe a different day. Like, I gotta go home, I'm tired. 
get on my face and get on my car. He realized that he wasn't getting nothing from me that day. Still like making out and doing all this and all that. Makeup is all over this man bucket hat in the front. He didn't realize it. But makeup is all over this man bucket hat in the front. After we done talking, he asked like, oh, can I smoke out here? He did bring his stuff to the car. So he's like, oh, can I smoke in here? And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. So he over here hot boxing the car or whatever. And we just chit chatting. Blah, blah, blah. This was after the fact. He's like, I'm going back to my city um, in the morning when we check out and da, da, da. I'm like, okay, like I'll see you a different day. I'll do, you know, Snapchat. I know you're gonna send me a video in the morning. I'll see you there. So he's like, all right, this man gets out of the car, right? I go back to our room, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, tell my friends all about the night, right? I'm like, this man is weird. But then I'm showing them this man. And like I said, this man was fine. I really wish I could just show y'all a picture. But when I say this man was fine, like he was beautiful. <laughs> Like I said, we're in, well, I'm in the room talking to my friends and we're just chatting, watching all of our videos and da 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 of the night prior, right? I start scrolling on Instagram. <laughs> I start scrolling on Instagram, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And by this time, me and Hawaiian had added each other on Instagram. So like we're friends via social media. I'm scrolling on Instagram, y'all. This man posted a picture on Instagram. Do y'all know what the picture on Instagram was? Let me just tell y'all the caption. The caption said, and then I quote, Happy three year anniversary to the love of my life. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all, I thought I was having a stroke reading this. I'm like, looking at his username, looking at the caption, looking at his username, looking at the caption because I'll be damned. If I'm reading this correctly, like, I'm illiterate, please tell me. So I'm showing my friends, like, we all looking at the same thing. D is d Am I tripping? Or was this man just in my car three hours ago, baby voice, asking me if he can lick all over me. But had the nerve to post a picture with him and his girlfriend at the car. Concert we all just went to bro the same thing he had on with the bucket hat Was the same thing he came to my car With the bucket hat. I was really amazed like <laughs> At that point I was amazed and from that day forward I was like when you don't post your girlfriend on social media, that's just letting me know that you trying to find her, 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 and her. Because nowhere on this man Instagram said he had a girlfriend. Never once did this man tell me he had a girlfriend. And like I said, I was like chatting with him on Snapchat for like a year. Never once did this man said he had a girlfriend. So y'all, when I was reading this on Instagram, I was real life confused. Because sir, so when you was posting on Snapchat, your girlfriend was the one recording you? And your friends that went with you to the concert was your girlfriend? And your friends that was inside the hotel room that you had me pull up to, to come into my car, was your girlfriend in the room? Y'all, niggas are disrespectful. Like, that is so disrespectful. When I tell y'all, I read it a cool 300 times. <laughs> Like I read that Instagram caption over and over and over and over again. Because I was like, there is no way that this man was just in my vehicle, begging me, pleading me to lick the box while his girlfriend was inside of a hotel room, bro. And you know what? I guess he had told her he was going outside to smoke. He made sure he had smoked before he got out of my car. But remember when I told y'all he had on that white bucket hat and when he got out of my car, it was makeup all over his bucket hat. I wonder how that conversation went. <laughs> I wonder how it went after the fact because he didn't walk to the car with makeup on his bucket hat. So how did you get makeup on your bucket hat, sir? I wonder, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall when that conversation took place. But after that day, I had never talked to that man again. I deleted him off Snapchat and I was like, yeah, you are a weirdo. Very much so a weirdo because you're over here Sending me videos with the sound on. Doing this, baby this, love that. Oh, good morning, good night. Da -da 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 -da. For damn near a year. And you had a whole girlfriend for the past three years. Confused. It just don't make no sense how 
downright disrespectful these men's could be. It don't make no sense how thirsty. Who we child? Anyways, that's the story about the time this little Hawaiian man's was begging and pleading to eat me. All while his girlfriend was like 10 feet away. Mm, 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 trifling, just trifling. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, what? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, bye!